This is a 2018 Porsche Macan Turbo in a flat white colour with just 20,000 miles on the clock. One of the dirtiest customers' cars I've had here for a while now and uh, on drop off the owner said that, sorry it's dirty, you haven't washed it in over a year for fear of not wanting to scratch the bodywork. Which is fine, uh, but understandably, especially on flat white, we have a lot of contamination to deal with, lots of bonded, heavy contaminants, tire deposits, fallout, and then afterwards it's a two-stage paint correction process, wheels off, work, full interior, engine bay, full Modesta suite of coatings. That and more coming up in this episode of What Details.
A lot of people comment on the videos about the pressure washing off that and how we don't get water on the inside. And as you can see, a little bit we do, but there's always a dedicated towel that's on hand to not only wipe down those areas after the initial rinse, but then also the second rinse after the chemical and the agitation. And then that's one door shut, looking a lot fresher. Come on to the interior later in the week. As always, the cleaner a vehicle can be made without a physical touch, the better. The initial rinse was very important at this stage to remove a lot of the green and the dirt and the built up algae from the window rubbers and the sunroof seams. And a lot of the areas were really quite heavy and stubborn. Following that, a couple of pre-wash sessions with a snow foam as well, tackling the intricate areas that typically a wash mitt can't reach. before giving the very lowest portions a once over and then we go on to the decontamination stage unfortunately I don't have any footage from the tar removal stage chemical tar removal from the bodywork but we're going straight in with the clay bar now usually the car would go inside at this point for the clay bar action to take place indoors but actually I'm going straight in with the big guns I'm using a clay mitt which is typically more aggressive than my option of clay bar and it's best to use it in conjunction with a shampoo or lubrication and the ability to rinse the panel off afterwards. So with a shampoo solution in the bucket and a clay mitt, um, this process was quite timely hundreds if not thousands of tiny tiny pinheads of contaminants iron filings and fallout which even with the aggressive nature of the clay mitt still took some removing rinsing as a go and conscious of the heat and the sun at this point you can see it's pretty warm but at the end of the day if this was a maintenance job yes it would be a problem but the whole car including the glass will be polished so any water spots or problem areas will be resolved later on Well, it's half past three in the afternoon. Started gearing up this morning at about 8.30. Started washing and wheels off by 10 to nine. And I still haven't put a polisher to the paint and I still haven't taken the wheels off to clean the wheels. So decontamination phase, yes, I was pressured by the sun. No, I wasn't particularly too worried about water spots. The entire car paint glass trim is gonna be polished anyway. If it was a maintenance wash, yes, I would have been search the shade or using my resin filter and also ah, yeah. lengthy decontamination process basically and already the car looks a lot different 
So, moving forward, polishing. I believe the colour to be Carrera White. I think I did a Cayman, Cayman GT4 uh, recently, and that was, I think, the same colour that also received a two stage polish. Uh, I'm reaching for straight away the blue HDO Lake Country microfiber cutting pads, and I will use. I will use Cartex 3000 Dharma Cut alongside that. Uh, honestly, the paint doesn't look terrible, so that's one bonus. So yes, I've sort of started the polishing somewhat late. I won't so much say half the day has been lost, but certainly two, maybe three hours over what I would usually spend in the wet work stage, just to get to this point now. Following the cutting pass with the polishing, um, which is removing the damage to surface abrasions, slice and scratches, a uh, refining pass will be made. And then we think about Medesta BCO4 application much, much, much later on. And the wheels, with them uh, being gloss black, I'm sure they will have marks on them, so they may benefit from uh, a watts over with the polisher too. But for now, some fresh pads on the machines. Areas have been taped up already. And on the basis that the wheels are still on the car, I'm gonna use the lower height of the car before it goes in the ramp to complete the roof and the gloss black spoiler, and then whip the wheels off and deal with them in the morning. You know, when you guys were trying to pick dates for this was, you know, was the hotel available? For those that haven't heard already, um, that was the voice of Mr. Alex Russell in America from the Detail Solutions podcast. I featured on Alex's podcast a few weeks back and it was my first recording, my first podcast appearance. There is a link below if you'd like to listen. We talk about detailing, uh, YouTube, the sort of story behind me behind the camera uh, and all that fun stuff. So link below, go check it out and show Alex some support.
Saturday lunchtime, um, most of the way around the cutting process now, and as per the two other recent flat white Carrera white Porsches that have been in recently in the last, I would say in the last five or six weeks, there's been the, there was the Carrera white Turbo S, which went on to win the concourse, and then there was a, a Carrera white Cayman GT4, all the same colour. Um, what was I getting at? Where was I going? Don't know. Anyway, progress isn't too bad. Lowest rear bump section. I'm about to tackle that now. And although the decontamination process with the clay mitt and the clay bar was extremely thorough to get it to a clean state before polishing, there is still, look at that, that would not budge. That's going to need an abrasive and a polish. It'll be easy to shift. In fact, so let's do a, like a diagonal 50-50 there to show the pure Carrera white versus the just... The whole car had an amount of that impregnated <laughs> on the entire surface. There's a small strip there as well which the clay ball wouldn't shift or the clay mitt down the bottom. This portion's done, that portion's done. Haven't done in the middle this bit, the reflector or that bit. So we'll do a quick 50-50 on the near side rear corner there. That leaves the side skirts, that leaves this wing mirror, that leaves the gloss black pillars, the B pillar, C pillar, D pillar, headlights and front bumper to cut. We can start refining. We can then Medesa's primer, 34. Uh, there isn't a BCO4 left. There will be some coming in on Monday. But an empty bottle of BCO4 there. And that actually is a good example. I don't think I've shown that before. That is how BCO4, that is BCO4 in a thick cured state. So that's the clarity. Obviously that's not the thickness of the coating on the car. That would be ridiculous. It's a microscopic version of that. Oh, the bonnet's left to correct as well. With the paintwork out of the way at that point, we can perhaps take a look at the wheels. As per the Turbo S episode, the gloss black wheels there, you can see hazing. They were polished, so I think actually these, these would very much benefit from being polished. Somebody's had a go already. Holograms there, rotary holograms. A couple of deeper scratches. See if we can pull some of them out as well. It's restoring the overall clarity. Oh, and that has been resprayed. That's been refurbished. That's a smart repair job. It's not the best finish there. And holograms over the top where they've tried to blend it and polish it. Refurbished there, refurbished there. Yeah, this wheel has been refurbished. Right, 50-50.
Oh, crikey. Get out, buggers. God, got me. Ah, ah. There he is. There he is. Oh. Missed a bit this side, mate. It's got a green tape on it.
Right, we're getting somewhere now. Uh, I have a long list of to-do jobs on the whiteboard now. The rims have received a quick polish, a bit of a cut and a refine to reduce and remove imperfections, hazing, whilst boosting the clarity and the gloss. Which they're certainly very glossy. Uh, this is the infrared curing process now after application of my Desta BC06. There's always a fair few comments on socials regards the wheel coat and treatment. Do you have to buff the residue after spraying BC06? And the answer is no, it flashes, which is why one of the reasons why it makes it a, a fantastic product, as well as the protection and the looks. If you can imagine a complicated set, these are pretty straightforward. Competition wheels off a of BMW, very fiddly. BC06 is a much, much easier, faster, time-saving, performing product to be using there. Only, of course, available though through the Modesta network. So, that said, with the wheels curing and the calipers coated, they've got to be cured as well. We're moving now onto the interior. We're gonna take all the carpets and the mats and any litter and cables and accessories out. And then we're going to introduce the airline, the airline to blast and eliminate all the loose bits and detritus, 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 detritus. Scrub and extract the fabrics, clean and protect the leather, clean and protect the Alcantara center sections, dash, any plastics, console, touchscreen, glass inside out, that wheel looks a little bit shiny, that could come up nicely. Super clarity and gloss now off the flat paint. Bit of an impression there, dirt on the armrest from the driver's elbow. Overall, I think it's pretty clean, actually. It's just light surface soiling, which is pretty easy to get off. Should be quite straightforward. Mileage, 20,308.
put an end to the wet vacuum on the carpets. They're coming up well, but clumsy me, filling up more water into the reservoir, not paying attention. And I step on the lead connector to supply the water for the inlet. The whole system, the wet vac, it's a VAX 6131. It's a dinosaur. I've had it from the very start, the very beginning. Uh, but I'm halfway through the job. I've ordered a new one of these. This will be here tomorrow. But at the same time, the last few months I have been thinking actually, save this for the dry Hoover and should I invest now in a dedicated wet vac? Probably. If you have recommendations, please let me know in the video description in the comments down below. What I have done, oh yes, it's made a big difference. That is just from, that's from half the passenger and then the rears. But for now, uh, what are we gonna do now? Alcantara on the seats. I was about to show you a nice bag full of listener fan mail that's come through last week. But they're all the bloody four. The eagle eyed among you. Uh, this is the toothpickery stage where we go around the panel gaps, light trims, reversing sensors, anywhere that maybe my polish or previous polish or dirt is crapped in. Crapped in. Oh, <sighs> so yeah. Um, check these out. Little. White details, custom. Two things. Thank you to Civiki for sending these through. In fact, I think one of them is a Civiki toothpick as well. Civiki! There we go, Civiki. Thank you for reaching out. Good to catch up at Waxstock recently. Thank you for your continued support. Get in trouble if I don't do this. Yep. Tonight, the rest of the evening, I have to blow the exterior of the vehicle down now to remove a light dusting. Uh, it readied us for an isopropyl alcohol wipe down in readiness BCO4 application tomorrow, which is in here. Then that leaves the door shuts, it leaves the leather protection, it leaves the exhaust. Um, infrared curing process, grill, interior, shiny sections. It feels funny this because it's been spammed this job from last week. It was a Thursday, Friday, half a day, Saturday, and we're now going into a new week, which I'm not used to, to be honest. With you. But we're nearly there. Ew.
you remember the dirty, tired, dull, neglected flat white Porsche that was dropped off a few days ago? I have to say, that does look good. Um, it's taken a bit of work, but again, another one leaves. Hopefully it's satisfied, we shall see. Next week is another flat white car. I know this is White Details. White is my surname, by the way, if you didn't know. Jim White, James White. But there does seem to be a lot of white cars coming through. Currently, um, white cars are deemed to be sort of easier to care for and wash into all that, that actually to work on and to, to, to sort of finesse to this level. I find them quite tricky. Um, you've got to really manipulate the light and look at every square inch of paint. Next week, it is a Audi R8 Spider. So before we go, a quick service summary, a recap of what the Porsche has received. A full lengthy decontamination process and safe wash. Two-stage paint correction with the idea we're removing up to 80% of the surface defects with a cutting pass. That itself leaves possible hazing behind so you refine it. So it's a two-stage polish. There are areas on every car, certainly on the McCann, there were areas where a little bit more here, a little bit more there, just to get to that sort of point where I'm happy and we're about that sort of 70-80%. Some areas are perfect, just the deeper marks may remain. Wheels off work including a machine polish for the rims as well, being gloss black, they've had the bulk of the spokes machine polished and coated with Modesta BC06. Paintwork coated with Modesta BC04, full interior detail, glass has been machine polished, hand polished, and then the engine bay. That just leaves me to thank you for watching. If you've made it through this far, like the video if you have enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and find my details over on Instagram for behind the scenes and updates. That said, take care, stay safe, bye for now.